Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing another day in life, but this one's gonna be a little bit different. Today's gonna be a comparison of an academy footballer days looks like and what a D1 footballer's day looks like as well, um, which I'm gonna be collabing with my boy, Xavier. But before we head into today's video, let's hand over the phone to Xavier. What's up YouTube? My name is Xavier Laneville and I am a Division One player at uh, St. Francis College in Brooklyn, New York. Really excited to do a collab with Adrian and to be on his channel. We're also gonna do the same on my channel, so stay tuned for that. In today's video, uh, we're gonna show you guys the difference between an academy player versus a D1 player during off season, the workouts we do and basically everything we do during the day. So right now, without further ado, I'm gonna go to the gym and do my first workout of the day before breakfast. It's gonna be the John Terry workout. So I see you guys in the gym. All right, guys, now you guys heard that. Let's go ahead and start off with our days. I'm gonna show you guys my parts, his part, a mix of everything. So let's get on to today's video. So if you guys saw in the previous video, I'm in off season right now. So we're gonna be basically showing you guys what um, a winter break or an off season day looks like. So first thing I'm gonna do right now is go cook up some breakfast and then we're gonna head to the soccer field. So let's go ahead and do that. All right guys, so breakfast is done. I have some eggs right here, and you guys know how I love my, my protein cookie, just to get a little extra protein in for the day. And I also have some water as well to keep me hydrated throughout the day. After I eat this up, I'm gonna head to the field, uh, have a little training session, and I'm gonna finish up my breakfast, and then I'll catch you guys in a couple minutes. All right guys, so I just got to the gym. Oh, I'm gonna go right there to um, start a treadmill. I'm gonna put the inclination to 12%, and also 18.5 uh, kilometers per hour or uh, 11.5 miles per hour. I'm gonna go and do uh, eight to 10 sets. So I'm gonna see how I feel. I'm gonna uh, show you guys that. Let's go. guys so this is my breakfast after my workout so two eggs with avocados and also two english muffins all right guys so i just finished eating breakfast it was really really good and great after a workout like that my thoughts on the workout it was hard i wanted to do between eight to ten sets so i did nine 
so it was uh, definitely challenging but it was definitely uh, very very good and useful during off season so right now i'm just gonna relax maybe watch some uh, uh, youtube videos and after that i'm gonna go ice skating uh, with a friend so i catch you guys uh, when i ice skate All right, guys, I'm all changed up right now. Just finished breakfast. Gonna go ahead down to the soccer field, get a nice um, individual training session in, and I'll catch you guys at the field. All right, guys, we just made it to the field. Um, we're gonna get a little warm up in, then we're gonna move on to some soccer stuff. So yeah, after the warm up, we're gonna get into the session. Let's get straight to it. guys so now that we just finished our warm up we're gonna move into some dribbling I found some poles here uh, that I'm gonna be using for this because I do not have cones so I'm gonna dribble through this right foot left foot both feet um, do different variations of that stuff I'm gonna be doing this for 10 to 15 minutes um, as another warm-up for my legs before I get into the harder stuff like passing and shooting so yeah let's go ahead and do this and I'll catch you guys in a bit My dad is standing down there, uh, right in front of the goal. I'm gonna be practicing with my right foot and left foot, some long balls to him. But we're doing this for around 10, 15 minutes, and then we're gonna move on to the next drill. Let's get straight to it. Okay guys, we just finished up that drill. As you can see, there's some straight on crosses, some crosses from the side, cause you know, I'm a winger and a fullback. So I wouldn't need to practice all my crosses. So now I'm done with that. We're gonna move on to um, the last drill of today. So I'm finishing to finish off today's session. All right, let's get it.
All right, guys, just finished the session. So now that I'm finished with today's session, we're gonna go head home, grab some lunch, and then we'll head into a little bodyweight workout, and I'll catch you guys in a bit. All right, boys, we just made it back to the house. Um, we got some lunch for us. We have some pasta and a little protein shake that I'm gonna drink up. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this, and then we're gonna head into a gym workout um, after one or two hours of resting. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. <laughs> all right guys so i just finished to uh, take my shower right now i'm just gonna relax and later i'm gonna cook dinner after dinner i'm gonna go to the weight room again to do an upper body lifting session and also a swimming recovery just to recover from uh, the past few days i've been working hard so i see you guys uh, later in the day so we just finished up our lunch and we rested up for a couple of hours. And now that my body's rested, I'm gonna go ahead to the garage. It's gonna be around a 20 minute, 30 minute workout. So let's go change and let's get ready to work out. All right guys, as you can see, I just finished my workout. So that was the last workout of today. Now we're gonna move on to some recovery. Let's head inside and I'm gonna show you guys what I use for recovery. All right guys, so as you can see, I am in the weight room. I'm gonna do my upper body lifting session. And after that, I'm gonna go to the pool. Let's go.
All right, guys, like I said, we're gonna get into some recovery. Basically what I use for recovery is a massage gun and also another recovery tool, which is an electronic cupper, which brings me to the sponsor of today's video. The Egg to Wake company sent me one of their products a few months back. It was an electronic cupper. Um, I don't have it with me right now. It's in Germany because I've been using it a lot there, but I have a couple videos of me using it. So I'm gonna explain to you what it basically is. All right, so here's the, the cupper. As you can see, I already have the spot where I want to put it on. They also recommend putting on some liquid around the spot. I have a muscle rub right here. You guys can use any type of oil that you guys uh, have at home. Basically, put it on the place that's uh, bothering the most or hurting. Uh, you turn it on and boom, it already starts. Yeah, basically with the app, you can uh, you know change the modes and stuff. You also have it right here as well. Um, this is for the red light. Um, turn that off and on if you want this, how powerful you, you would want it to be. And these are the modes for N. On the app, it has what type of modes there are, um, what they're called. So you guys can search them up in the app. So I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit. I'm gonna set the timer for around five to 10 minutes in this area and switch around to different areas as well. Uh, just to keep my uh, muscles relaxed. Yeah, I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. All right, guys, let me go ahead and show you guys what was inside the Egg the Way Cupper box that they sent me. So first things first, um, when you open up the box, it actually comes with a, a little user manual, which will basically show you guys all the steps and all the tools that you'll need to in order to work the electronic cupper. So that was very nice having that. And here's a little overview of like basically the, the things that come inside of it. So as you can see, it comes with a electronic cupper, of course, the main thing, and it also comes with little circle pads that you insert into the electronic cupper. It also comes with um, different extensions and different sizes of the, the cupper, so you can switch that as well. And yeah, this is basically what comes inside. So it's very neat, very um, useful. So if you guys don't mind, go check it out. Um, the link will be in the bio down below. So yeah, thank you. Okay, so now that I show you guys that stuff right there, a little recovery um, stuff that I do when I'm doing a lot of these workouts in the off season. So, so now that I'm done with this recovery, um, I'm gonna go to the kitchen, get up some dinner, and I'll show you guys what I have for dinner. All right, guys. So for some dinner, we have salmon, broccoli, and some white rice. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this up with some water, and I catch you guys in a few minutes. All right, guys. So my little recovery pool session was uh, good. Uh, big shout out for Adrian for having me on his channel and doing this collaboration with me. So stay tuned in the next few days because I'm gonna put a video with him on my channel. So until next time, peace. All right guys, that concludes today's video. We just finished up dinner. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching what an academy footballer's day looks like versus a D1 footballer's day as well. So guys, go give uh, my boy Javier some love. His account will be in the description box down below. So go check him out, go give him a follow. Also go check in the description, the Egg to Wake Company uh, to buy yourself a cupper or um, they also have muscle guns there as well. So please go check them out. They're a great company. Thank you guys for watching today's video. And until next time, I'm out. Peace. Who the fuck is CJ?